back to White Mountains today in the studio live in North Conway Village and I'm joined by Greg Fisher from Anatash and Wildcat Mountains. Thanks for coming on this morning. Of course, thank you. I know you guys have a busy schedule so it's tough for a marketing guy to, to take a break. Yeah. You're, you've got Limerick right Well, I already duties. got up and I already had a McGinnis this morning so <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't know. Any, you didn't bring any? I know. I, well, I, I know Seamus is coming on so I was expecting like, you know, corned beef and cabbage and everything laid out and, you know. He comes on after you though. Jameson, so you, I mean, come you on. Had, you had responsibilities. So right. Seamus McGrath from McGrath's Tavern in a little bit. But right now we're talking uh, what to do before you you hit the party. Right, right, yeah. Uh, and there's gonna be there's gonna be some partying at Atatash today. Yeah, they got a lot going on over at Atatash today. So um, we have uh, the uh, you can still ski at Atatash today, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're 100, almost 100 percent open. There's one trail uh, that is uh, not open today, unfortunately. Um, I don't know actually which one it is, but all the uh, everything like Wilford's Gum, Tim's Trauma is open. Wow. So there's really some fan favorites over there that uh, have opened up due to all the great snowfall that we've picked up here in the month of March. And this um, must be some of the best skiing that we've had all year. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, some of the skiing that was all going on at Wildcat this past week was off the charts good. I mean, the snowfall that they picked up was very different from the rest of the valley. It was really light. Um, you know, two feet of snow up at the top. Um, some of the, the photos that were coming out of there were just uh, so good. And just following people that were tagging it, yeah. um, skiing it was, was phenomenal. And I have two kids, you know that. And, yeah. um, you know, so I didn't get to enjoy it because my <laughs> kids didn't have school. So I kind of yeah. hung out at home and played dispatcher for all the media that was coming out of all of our resorts. It's been, it's been a great march uh, here in the Valley and across New England, really. Yeah, so. it has been. It's amazing how fast things can change. Yeah. Someone, someone in the know, someone with connections must have said, you know, the right prayer to the right snow gods or something. Whoever that was, thank you. It, it worked thank you out very well much. For, yeah. us, for us all. So great skiing at both mountains. Let's get to some of the apparatus stuff going on today. Yeah, so uh, first let's start off with Wildcats. So Wildcats got the gravel project going on uh, up there uh, today. They have a, a cool scavenger hunt that is also taking place throughout the day for both kids and families. They can, um, every hour on the hour, there's a new clue that comes out and huh. then there's a, a pot of gold that's out there. And um, the pot of gold features a 1819 uh, uh, peak pass. No kidding. So that is a pretty good value. You know, those take those passes now are around um, 600 bucks for an adult uh, over over the age of 30. And um, so whoever wins that will be uh, skiing free next year. So. Uh, is it difficult to find, or did you just put it in the middle of the trail somewhere? So like the first person, <laughs> the first chair. <laughs> no, like, it's, got def it. <laughs> it's definitely difficult to find. I mean, the clues, how the clues work, is they they're um, vague in the beginning yeah. they kind of give you like ah it's at wildcat yep. and then like okay so you ski around um, but every hour on the hour they get a little bit more um, kind of narrowed down yep. and uh, you know I don't know where it is so um, I, I wasn't uh, last year I was uh, the one who hit it and wrote all the clues this year I've actually given up to our marketing teams at uh, Attach and Wildcat so yeah uh, that sounds like a lot of fun that, yep. that would keep the kids involved too like looking for the pot of gold all yeah time. it is certainly <coughs> fun my I have a four and a half year old um, you know, we would never go and participate <laughs> in this, but uh, you know, I know a lot of families that uh, we've done this at an, a lot of our resorts for St. Patrick's Day, yep. and they have a lot of fun with it. You know, it's kind of a, a fun family activity that the parents can get involved with too. So fun at Wildcat. Let's move over to Atatash yep. now, which is a huge night there. Yeah, Atatash is uh, has its third Atatash after dark tonight. Um, it is uh, the last one of this uh, this year. We've uh, we teamed up with Bud Light to, to do this event and uh, they've been really successful. They've been a lot of fun. Um, we had a, um, a Bon Jovi cover band play earlier in the year on MLK. We had a, a Dave Matthews band which was phenomenal play two sets um, back on President's Day weekend and then St. Patrick's Day we have the Adam Ezra group coming in and uh, if you've ever seen Adam Ezra they put on a phenomenal show mm -hmm. um, but uh, tonight we have uh, fireworks that are going off a little bit later than the ones uh, earlier in the season because of daylight savings time yep. so they go off at 7 um, tonight so there's gonna be a huge fireworks show and that will be right outside of the Atatash base area they shoot them off I think um, right above Grandstand, actually. Very so cool. uh, that'll be going on tonight down there. And then uh, a couple weeks out, you know, we have the, um, the Grandstand Mogul Jam next weekend. And then uh, following weekend is the Motor Booty Affair, which is a big favorite in Pond Skimming Day uh, right before Easter. And then on Easter, we have uh, 
Right now, $22 lift tickets for Easter Sunday, because uh, it's April Fool's Day it, and it's Easter, yeah. so we had a lot of fun. They, um, the $11 tickets, I think, sold out last night. Wow. So 11, so there's now it's 22 and it goes up to 33 and then 44. So don't wait, get your $22 Yeah, don't wait, those now. are available online at uh, Aditash or SkiWildcat.com. All right. Yeah, uh, so that, that's fantastic. I know you guys have probably early season pricing on your new passes. Yeah, so the peak pass is available for sale. You can get it for 99 bucks down. If you picked it up today, you can ski for the rest of the year. Wow. Wildcat will go, um, you know, we every year we try to go till um, right around May 1. You know, this year, April 29th, I think, is the Sunday, uh, the last Sunday in April. Um, that's a target of ours. So yep. we'll be skiing up there for a while. They have 100% open. They have a really good base now. Um, it's cold today. Uh, Mother Nature is definitely playing some interesting tricks on us this yep. year with, uh, you know, President's Week, which I think we hit 60 degrees up there. <laughs> and now on St. Patrick's Day, it's uh, in the teens as we get up there this yeah. morning. So I was actually kind of happy, you know, you were saying about you know a lot of skiers in the valley love the snow and yeah we've been blessed it would be great to have another snowstorm come through on tuesday um and and maybe we do pick up a couple inches here and there but uh you know looking out you know if if the weather we can get some nice spring everybody loves spring skiing yeah. so um you know a nice weekend where bumps are soft and you can ski maybe not in necessarily a you know a full puffy like you might be skiing yeah. in today and neck warmers um those are the types of weekends where at the end of march we're really looking forward to you know outside music and and those types of things absolutely so, it's coming and maybe it a little coming. bit delayed but uh we'll take it in exchange for all the snow we've right had. yeah i mean march has been uh it's been truly magical you know march madness is going on in, in the ncaa did you see that game last I, I didn't see it, but I just read all the highlights. I Holy woke up. I didn't see it either. I woke up this morning and I read it on my iPad. I'm like, you've got. They to won be by 20 points. I know they blew 16 them out. 16 seed beat a one seed. Virginia went down to. Blew up my bracket. I had Virginia going all the way to the end, so wow. I'm done. Yep. Well, thanks for playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks for your money. Move on. Uh, so, have we missed anything? Basically, the, the bottom line is get to Adatash, get to get to. Uh, yeah, Wildcat. there's. I mean, there's a lot of really great things going on in this valley. Um, you know, all the all the ski resorts have phenomenal um, spring events. You know, what's going on over at King Pine for Cynthia's Challenge today is really cool. Um, you know, Cranmore's got uh, their. Uh, what's the end of their season? They usually have a couple of really cool things going on uh, for the last weekend. I think it's like two weeks out. So, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of great uh, skiing to be had across the entire valley here. And, you know, winter's not over yet. I mean, to be 100% on St. Patrick's Day at just about every single ski resort in this valley is yeah. phenomenal. And there's going to be like two, three more weekends of that, you know, at so least, at least, you know, yeah. and Wildcat will go for a very long time. My son has a birthday April 19th, so that's his plan. He wants to ski yep. on or around his birthday, so we're gonna try to make that happen. Wildcat seems like it's gonna help out. Yep, yep, we'll definitely, uh, we'll, we'll be there, I, I can, <laughs> you know, unless there's like a rainstorm or something like that that's, uh, uh, you know, huge, but I can't imagine that Wildcat be, um, not be skiing well into April. Yeah, you haven't lived until you've spent like a, a 60 degree day on Wildcat Mountain in like March or April with like bluebird skies and that Mount Washington. Oh yeah, some of the tailgating that goes on over there too is, is great. People break out the barbecues mm. out in the parking lot. It might be a little muddy and stinky, but you know, it's, uh, uh, it's a lot of fun and it's an experience that uh, I got to enjoy last year and uh, I'm looking forward to it again. I go on a golf trip every two years. My wife only lets me go every two years. Cause, so uh, this year is, is that year and uh, I plan on going golfing for, <laughs> for five, six days down in Florida or in Orlando and then I'm going to come back and go skiing at Wildcat. So nice. it's going to be kind of fun. Yeah. Very cool. And again, if you go put $99 down, you can get a season pass, good for all next year. And you can yep. ski Wildcat for the rest of the season. Ski Wildcat for the rest of the season, ski out of town. Ski Mount Snow, um, any of our uh, seven Northeast resorts that you can get to. And, uh, you know, Mount Snow will probably go well into uh, April as well. They have a lot of really cool events going on down Great there. Great deal. Yeah. Greg Fisher, Aditash and Wildcat Mountain. Anything we forget? No. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I see Seamus. Seamus, cheers. Top of the morning to you, Seamus. <laughs> We're getting Seamus McGrath, the uh, true <laughs> Irishman, on the set. Coming up next, well, coming up in two segments. And uh, I don't know if he brought any corned beef, but we'll find out. We'll find out all about his, <laughs> his shindig tonight over at McGrath. Yeah. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. Have a great day yeah. skiing today. Thank right you. We'll be back on more White Mountains today.